We have a 2017 Airstream Classic and we've had it a little less than a year and we live in it full time. And when you live in it full time, your bathroom sink tends to get clogged, which ours has. It's been getting slower and slower and it's finally to the point where it just has stopped. So now it's time to fix it and I've done some research to see what's involved in trying to clear out this drain. Marvin happens to be out of town right now and so I feel like I can fix this myself. So I'm going to try and get it fixed before he gets home and surprise him with it. So come along with me on this adventure and see if I either fix it or if I totally break something and have to call a plumber. <laughs> Here is the type of drain plug I'm dealing with. It's the drop down type. To remove this drain, I put a cloth, actually a microfiber cloth, over the top knob and then used a plumber's wrench to twist it off. It's only supposed to be hand tightened, but it was a, a new drain that was put in last year and the repairman said it's really tough to get off the first time you have to do this. Okay, I got the drain off. Let me shine the flashlight down there. That is, look at the crud. No wonder this thing wasn't draining. And what I discovered was that the drain top, that's actually all one piece. The videos I've been watching, this top thing and this disc were two separate pieces, but it's actually one piece. And then there is a little side screw. So, ha, huh, at least I know that. Now I'm going to work on cleaning out this nasty, disgusting clog drain. And hopefully by this evening, I'll have this all put back together and we'll be good as new. Yay. What I did was um, after I got this, after I got the drain stopper removed, which is a one piece thing. Pulled out a bunch of stuff by hand and I happen to have one of these little snake things with the little spikes on them. And because we have a waterless trap system, and if you've never heard of a waterless trap before, it's not a regular pea trap. It has a bladder in it so you can't stick these all the way down in there otherwise it'll rip that bladder but what I did was I kind of held it like this to where I wouldn't go down as far and I went ahead and just stuck it down in there and was able to pull up a bunch more stuff but it still was not draining so I just ran over to Home Depot and I picked up one of these real simple little hand plungers and I put some water in the sink because it was not draining and boy it did not take much. I just barely pushed on this thing and it just shoved everything through and that is a clean drain and it just drained like crazy after that. Um, I didn't ask if it was safe to use a plunger on it but I figured since it was a bladder system and if I didn't just plunge the heck out of it it should be fine and apparently it was that seems to work here is the waterless trap system as you can see it's not a normal P trap and a lot of marine sinks I guess have this it's a way to save space supposedly is a clogless system yeah <laughs> obviously that's not exactly true are also not supposed to be glued in. I'm not sure what that is. It's supposed to only be hand tightened in, but it looks like somebody may have glued that in. I'm not really sure what that green is, but we're going to try and I think the drain is the, uh, the actual plunger in the drain is, is the problem. So now all I have to do, I think, is screw this back in here like that. Well, maybe. Where's the little pin? Um, 
not sure. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit and see. Because this doesn't work like other drains that I watched other people clean on YouTube. It doesn't have that little pin system on it. So let me play with it for a little bit and see what I can figure out. Okay, it actually does have the pin system, except it's internal and not external. So see this little rod? It's flat on this side, and then it's round over here. And then there's that screw in the side. So when it's up, when it's, the screw is holding it up over here, but as soon as you turn it to that flat side, then that drops in. So there is a pin system in it. I got it back in, so all I had to do was make sure that that, the pin was pulled all the way out, and then I put it in that way, because it needs the length of the full pin in order to thread into the threads below, and you just start turning to tighten it, and then it does go in, and then it'll stay in, and then it'll drop down, and then you turn it to the right to make it stay up. So, yay! Now I'm going to clean up the sink, and I'm good to go. Woohoo! All right, mission accomplished. Got the sink clean, and look at this, some running water in it, and it is draining. Yay! I think we just, I just saved us about at least probably 175 bucks. Now I'm going to call somebody and brag on myself. <laughs>